بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وات ٹو ڈے ود دا ٹاپک آف سیمیٹریز ان دا فور ایئر سیریز ناؤ آئی آئی ہوپ دیٹ آئی ہیو ریٹن دا اسپیلنگ آف سیمیٹریز رائٹ ایف رانگ سو دس از ناٹ این انگلش کلاس اوکے لیٹ اٹ بی رانگ فائن بٹ وین آئی ایم اپلوڈ ان دا ویڈیو سو آئی ہوڈ گیو دا پراپر اسپیلنگ ان دا ویل آئی لیٹ دس از رائٹ فائن ایف ناٹ سو لیٹ اٹ گو Symmetries in Fourier series. These are the Fourier uh, coefficients of the trigonometric Fourier series. So I let it be if I need it over here. So the first symmetry is that if you have a signal that is even symmetrical, even symmetrical signal, even symmetrical signal. So what is the definition of an even symmetrical signal that if you time reverse it, if you time reverse it that is x of minus t, this would be equal to the original signal that is x of t. You know it very well. This is the basic definition. For such sort of a signals now if we, if you are given such sort of a signal for this a naught can never be equal to zero. A naught will never be equal to zero. A n will not be equal to zero, and your b n would be equal to zero. B n would be equal to zero. Fine. So this I would just be writing it like this. We don't need to prove them over here. Fine. If you have some examples, you do it through that, so you would understand it basically. We would also try to do some examples on this, so to prove, so to get an idea why is this like. It is like this. We do, we're not interested in why. We, we, we just want to see that basically is it like this or not. So, for an even symmetrical, A0 would be non-zero, AN would be non-zero, BN would be zero. And the phase of AK, if you're talking about the what? The other form, the phase of AK, if you're talking about the complex form, so the phase could either be equal to a plus or a minus 180 degrees. These would be the phase of the A case. So this is about the first. That is the even symmetrical. The second is an odd uh, symmetry. The second is odd symmetry. So odd, odd symmetry or odd symmetrical signal, whatever you write it. So for odd symmetry, what do you have? You know that the definition of odd is that if you time reverse a signal, it would be equal to the negative of the original signal. Fine. I mean, if this is time reversed, so this would be equal to the amplitude reversed of the original signal. Fine. Now in this, for this sort of a case, your A naught would be zero. A naught is zero. Similarly, a n is zero, and what about b n? So b n are not zero. The sign terms are not zero, and the phase. What about the phase? If you're talking about the complex exponentials, so the phase could either be a could be a plus minus 90 degrees. This is for odd signals. Fine. The third is a half wave symmetry. The third is a half wave symmetry. Now I believe we have not seen this previously. Half wave symmetry. What do we have in this symmetry? If you shift the signal x of t either to the right or to the left plus minus by half of the period plus minus half of the period now half of the period i'm saying because all of these properties that we are seeing these are for periodic signal because the Fourier series is only for periodic signal so if you shift it to the left or to the right by a half of the time period this would be equal to negative times the x of t this is what is the definition of a half wave symmetrical signal Fine. Now for this particular case, what do you have? A naught would be zero, and A k will be zero. For what? For 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 k is equal to e one. So in this particular case, my A naught would be zero. Fine. If I'm talking about the exponential, and A k would be equal to zero for even values of k. Which means that only odd harmonics would exist. Only odd harmonics are present. 
fine now if I uh, do what if I do what if I give you an example right so if I give you an example so let's say I have a signal uh, where should I draw it over there so this space is left with me fine I draw it over here this is my t axis this is my x of t axis I'm drawing a periodic signal like this we are having an amplitude change right similarly over here at this side fine so now if you see if you see so this would be your t this is your t by 2 similarly this is a negative t by 2 and this is a negative t now if i shift this signal so so let's say if this is my point this is my t axis this is my x of t axis x of t no now this would be my x of let's say i'm shifting it toward the right so this would be my x of t minus t by 2 axis so if this was a t by 2 this was my point t this was negative t by 2 this was a negative t so what do you have the zero point would get over here which means that this would now be like this this point would uh, would come over here t by 2 would come to t so which means that this would be like this fine and this continues similarly this like this like this so have a look have a look wherever x of t is positive x of t minus t by 2 is negative wherever x of t is negative x of t minus t by 2 is positive so which means and this would be equal also if you left shift it x of t plus t by 2 and have a look this is equal to negative of x of t so such sort of a signals such sort of a signals are called what are called the the what half wave symmetrical signals and for such case only odd harmonics exist now we uh, you know uh, we have what we don't have anything yes now a question should have arised in your mind when i discuss the even symmetrical signal when a signal is even a naught cannot be equal to zero and you know the example of cause you know the example of cause so cause is an even signal and for this we know that the Fourier coefficients are equal at and only present at a1 and a negative 1 and those are equal to 1 over 2 so a naught is equal to 0 which I said that for any one signal it cannot be equal to 0 isn't this contradicting my point isn't this contradicting my point it is it is so what do you have is what do you have that cause is not just an even signal cause is a signal that is i say in point number four this is an even signal plus it also has the half wave symmetry so this would be my fourth thing which means that this would do what this would have to satisfy the condition for even as well that is x of t would be equal to x of negative t similarly x of t plus minus t by 2 would be equal to negative of x of t so this would have to satisfy both the conditions and cause does satisfy both the conditions so for that case what do you have a naught would be 0 a n would be 0 for k equal to even so now uh, you are for for even plus half wave symmetric a naught would be zero and a n would be zero or a k or a n or whatever you write a n would be zero for n equal to even number so what could i write and what about b so b would be zero right because for even we have uh, b n equal to zero so for even we have b n is equal to zero so which means what would be the case over here we would have what only odd harmonics of the of the of the what the sine term would exist the cos term would exist so i would write that only cosine terms with odd harmonics would exist
and I believe it is clear now. Similarly, now if I have number fifth, so that would be an odd plus the half wave symmetry. So again, you would have to combine both of them. First, you would have to write the definition of odd and then you would have to write the definition of a half wave symmetric and then you would have to write what? <laughs> So what would happen in this case is now you have to combine the the what the properties of both. So uh, in this in the odd signal, what do you have? You have a naught is zero, a n is zero. A naught is zero and a n is zero. Fine. So I would write this: a naught is zero. Similarly, a n is zero. And then what do you have? A naught is zero, n is equal to zero, but a k is zero only for k equal to e1. So we combine it with the half wave symmetry. So only for e1. So a k is equal to zero for k equal to e1. Fine. So in this case, what do you have is that only sine terms would exist. Uh, and and a, a n is equal to uh, zero. B n is you know not zero for. So I would write only sine terms would exist with odd harmonics. So which means that B n is not equal to zero for what? Uh, for what? For n equal to odd which means that over here if i write so so i would write that you have bn is not equal to zero for n equal to odd similarly over here i believe i missed that an is not equal to zero for n equal to odd over here cos terms over here sine terms this was the fifth symmetry the sixth you have a hidden symmetry the sixth you have a hidden symmetry and the hidden symmetry I would explain through an example and what is that example so I would consider a wave form this is if t this is x of t you have this sort of a wave Fine. Now, if you see, is this an even symmetrical signal? X of minus t not equal to x of t. This is not an even symmetrical signal. Odd signal, x of minus t equal to the negative of x of t, not odd symmetrical signal. Half wave symmetry, you shift it by a plus t by 2, minus t by 2, not a half wave symmetrical. So, what sort of symmetry exists in this particular wave? We don't know it directly. We don't know it directly. But, but let me provide it a DC shift. Let me provide it a DC shift. What do I have is, let's say this amplitude was 2, this amplitude is 0. If anywhere I do not mention amplitude, you consider it somewhere plus A, somewhere minus A, the same over here. You can consider yourself. If I provide a DC shift, if I mean, if I have now a signal, which is like this x of t let's say minus 1 so minus 1 means that 2 minus 1 would be 1 and 0 minus 1 would be negative 1 so this signal would shift one unit downwards and this would be this sort of a signal where this is plus 1 this is this is minus 1 have a look have a look haven't we discussed the same signal over here isn't this showing the same signal? So does this not mean that this is now a half wave symmetrical signal? This is a half wave symmetrical signal, but we did not knew it directly. By seeing it, we did not knew it. If we operate it through some manner, we apply some operation on it, and then it attains some sort of a symmetry out of the given five symmetries, this signal is known to possess hidden symmetry. The signal is known to possess hidden symmetry and this is you know now in the category of all
ऑड प्लस हाफ वेव सिमेट्री ऑड प्लस हाफ वेव सिमेट्री बेसिकली दिस इज नॉट मिसिंग डायरेक्टली दिस इज बेसिकली व्हाट दिस इज आवर हिडन सिमेट्री आफ्टर वी प्रोवाइड ए डीसी शिफ्ट वी नो दिस DC shift. In this example, I provided a DC shift. Maybe somewhere else, we provide another operation. That's it. That's it for this video. I would try to, you know, make an example video. Till then, till the next video. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.